open up my code window and here's the action I want you to write I want you to write first of all for the home it's H right so I'm gonna target H and I don't know if you guys can see this so I might need to make it bigger 24 so that's bigger alright so it says H and you're gonna say H dot on capital P press so H period on press no space between on and press and P has to be capitalized All right then I'm just gonna put a space here and type equals another space a function okay and the way this is gonna work I'm gonna collapse this window so you can see better H dot on press equals a function then an open and close parentheses then a curly brace okay then you're going to hit enter and enter again and then backspace and you're gonna put an end curly brace so notice how this works you've got a um, curly brace here opening curly brace and a closing curly brace okay and you can you know move that around but basically what you're gonna do is so you're saying the H button when we press it we're gonna do something in this function and right here you're going to say go to and stop and in between there you'll put um, opening close parentheses quotation marks and I'm gonna put in here the word home and this is the name of your frame label so I say go to capital A for and capital S for stop no spaces here then open in parentheses in quotation marks the name of your frame label and then a close parentheses and at the end you can actually put a semicolon alright so hopefully you see that let's double check you see yes my frame label is named home right so now when I click this button the H button it should take me there let's do another one shall we so I click on that action script open this window I'm gonna highlight all three rows control C to copy move my cursor to line 4 and paste it now you see I have these line numbers here how did I get those if you go here these little lines in the corner you can see here I've got line numbers set up here line numbers I clicked on it which activated line numbering system so now I say uh, the next one is called about which is the A button so I'll change this from H to A so A dot on press capital P equals a function open and close parentheses open curly brace next line go to and stop capital A capital S and this will say about alright so now if I hit control enter and work my movie alright everything comes into play here's my buttons if I click on the about button it takes me to the about page if I click on the home button it takes me and stops on the home frame label which is I'm saying the home page but it's actually takes me to the keyframe where there's the home label and stops so I can go to about I can go back home about home and it just jumps the playhead and stops it where you need to go and it's doing it on the root timeline the the scene one timeline and it's just that simple so to do the rest I'll just highlight all this control C to copy next line control paste and the next one there's a about and then there's a gallery let's see here about gallery contact and video right okay so G for gallery we named the other one C for contact alright and this will go to the gallery and this one will go to the contact and I need one more so I'll just copy this copy next line paste control V and this is the backspace V dot on press equals a function open and close parentheses open curly brace next line go to and stop um, video alright and that's it okay that's the way it looks if we'll stretch this out so you can see all of it all right. Each button has its own little piece of code controlling that button. Okay? And it only needs to be done once. 
and it will work no matter where we are even if we jump the playhead to here to here to here it won't matter it'll still work because it's been initiated right there so I hit control enter here's my movie okay this comes in that comes in notice if I click on about we go to about gallery contact video back to home about gallery about contact and you've just created buttons and controlled the buttons through action script and this is the easiest way I know how to write the code to make it work to control the button it's very simple that way and so um, I hope you like that um, you might need to go back to refer to this if you have any questions let me know one of the key things is that I clicked on the keyframe to write the actions uh, made sure that it said actions frame up here before I started um, coding all right remember this is action script one and two that we're using you had to go to file publish settings and change the code on the flash tab on the flash tab to action script 2.0 okay uh, I hope that was good and